can you simplify this expression? Here's the question. Can you simplify 1 minus 1 over 2 squared multiplied by 1 minus 1 over 3 squared multiplied by 1 minus 1 over 4 squared all the way up to 1 minus 1 over 2023 raised to the power of 2 all over 1 minus 1 half multiplied by 1 minus 1 third multiplied by 1 minus 1 fourth all the way to 1 minus 1 over 2023. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video. Now let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, so our goal in this question is to simplify or to get the value of this expression. Now, first thing we need to do is to let this expression be equal to a variable s. So our goal is to find the value of this variable s. Now, to answer this question, let's focus to the square numbers 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, and 2023 raised to the power of 2. Because those numbers are the hints to answer this kind of question. Now, here's the reason. Because this one on its numerator, one, we can represent this or we can rewrite this as 1 raised to the power of 2. Now, 1 raised to the power of 2 over 2 raised to the power of 2, 1 squared over 3 squared, and so on and so forth, we can rewrite this as 1 over 2 raised to the power of 2, 1 third raised to the power of 2, 1 over 4 raised to the power of 2, all the way down to 1 over 2023 raised to the power of 2. Now, what is the purpose? Because, take note, this one over here, we can rewrite this as 1 squared also. So, this is a difference of 2 squares. So, we can apply the factored form of the difference of 2 squared, we can factor this as a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So the numerator of this expression, we can factor this out as 1 minus 1 half multiplied by 1 plus 1 half, 1 minus 1 third multiplied by 1 plus 1 third, 1 minus 1 fourth multiplied by 1 plus 1 fourth, all the way down to 1 minus 1 over 2023, multiplied by 1 plus 1 over 2023. And now, notice, we can now eliminate the factor of 1 minus 1 half on the numerator and the denominator. We can also eliminate this factor, 1 minus 1 over 3, 1 minus 1 over 4, all the way down to 1 minus 1 over 2023. So now, what's left is 1 plus 1 half, 1 plus 1 third, 1 plus 1 fourth, all the way down to 1 plus 1 over 2023. Now, if we simplify this, or if we get the sum of 1 and the 1 over 2, we get 3 over 2. 1 plus 1 over 3, this will give us 4 over 3. 1 plus 1 over 4, this will give us 5 over 4, and so on and so forth, until 1 plus 1 over 2023, this will give us 2024 over 2023. Now, to simplify this, or to see the pattern, let's have some terms between 5 over 4 and 2024 over 2023 like this. Now, as you can see, we have a factor of 3 on the numerator and 3 on the denominator, so we can cancel those numbers. This 4, we can also cancel this 4, this 5, this 2022, and this 2023. But technically speaking, all numbers between 6 and 2021 are also eliminated. So now, what's left is just 2024 and this number 2. So we have S equals 2024 all over 2. And 2024 divided by 2, this will give us 1,012. And that is the value of S. And also, this is the value of the expression that we want to evaluate. Therefore, the simplest form of this expression, 1 minus 1 over 2 raised to the power of 2, multiplied by 1 minus 1 over 3 squared, multiplied by 1 minus 1 over 4 squared, all the way down to 1 minus 1 over 2023 squared, all over 1 minus 1 half times 1 over 1 third times 1 minus 1 over 4, all the way down to 1 minus 1 over 2023, must be 1,012. And as always, we are done.